Hi everyone, um, I'm back with you today just having a play with one of the new stamp sets from the holiday catalogue. This is Festival of Trees. It's one of the new photopolymer stamps. So I'm still not 100% with these stamps, just so I just wanted to have a play, see how they stamped up. <clears throat> now, it did stamp fine, but I did find that you need a very light touch <laughs> with the stamp. So if you press down too hard when you're stamping, um, you do get a little bit of the um, base of the stamp coming through. So especially with the um, baubles, I found. Um, so once you get the hang of that, then it stamps perfectly. So... <laughs> So it just takes a little bit of practice. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted to have a bit of a play. And the other reason I wanted to do this was to see which colour combinations I liked. Um, so I grabbed out four of my favourite greens, which is pistachio pudding, pear pizzazz, old olive and wild wasabi. So light to dark green. And I just wanted to... Um, play around and see which colours I liked with the greens with the tree and I have to say I liked all of them <laughs> so that didn't make much difference but also the fact that because there's five trees in this set they do layer on top of each other so you, there's one that's complete solid and then you can add any of the other ones on top of it so if you do the base in a lighter green and then stamp with a darker on top then you get this two-tone green tree effect which looks fantastic so I wanted to have a play with that as well so I just had a bit of a play on all the different types of trees different combinations of the trees and the different combinations of the inks um, then I grabbed out the bauble stamp set and because it's that photopolymer it's very easy to see through it um, so you don't need a stamp from a jig to line everything up properly um, although it still takes a little bit of practice and you got to make sure you've got it quite just centered just quite right otherwise you can be a little bit off but it does make it a lot easier um, so I once again wanted to try different colors different combinations with the trees some with baubles and some with um, the next stamp I used which was the tinsel <laughs> so I just wanted to have a bit of a play with, with what's going on there the tinsel I found definitely I want to use that with um, heat embossing um, it's I don't know, to me, tinsel just needs to be that pretty shiny <laughs> texture that would look absolutely fantastic with the heat embossing. Um, not to say that it doesn't without it. I tried it with the baked brown sugar, which actually looks beautiful as a gold tinsel. Um, and um, I tried it with some red and oh, I can't remember what else I tried it with. But, yeah, definitely want to try it out with some um, heat embossing. So that's all my greens and reds combinations that I wanted to do. Um, then I decided to go with some of the um, non-traditional colours, but the the other traditional, as I like to call it now, which is your silver. <laughs> so the silver and purple and the silver and blue, which you see everywhere these days. So I'm a huge traditional green and red for Christmas girl, but every now and again I do like to change it. And I do love the all is calm. Um, range in the new catalog which is all the blues and silvers so I wanted to just have a go with these trees with that so I grabbed out my smoky slate and stamped some of the trees up as well as a lost lagoon and then I also did one in the baked brown sugar as a gold tree just to change it up oh and I did one in rich rosalberry there we go um, so that's my purple so I actually really liked that rich rosalberry um, it's quite dark, but I really liked it. So I tried that with the um, Lost Lagoon as the baubles on it. So it was purple and blue. And I really like that. I think I might make some cards in that, um, that colour combination. So I just tried, once again, different combinations of these colours with the different baubles and tinsel and things. Just a bit of a play. So if you get this stamp set crack it out, have a good play with it, and um, there's so much you can do with it. I've seen so many ideas on Pinterest. I can't wait to try out heaps of things, lots of thoughts going around in my head. So you can always 
check out my stuff at scraprony.com. Um, I'm also on Facebook, search for Scrap and Stamp with Ronnie. And I hope to be back with lots more um, cards and layouts featuring this stamp set, although I do have quite a few stamps from this catalogue, so there'll be lots on there about with all different ones. Okay, so I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have a play, why don't you jump onto my blog, let me know, or let me know where you've got some posts of your examples with this stamp set. I'd love to see them. Um, just leave me a comment on my blog. So thanks for watching, everyone.